Hello grade 10, welcome to your online physics class. Yesterday we started with uh, the graphical method in resolving vectors. Okay, so we had this problem but we weren't able to finish them. So uh, today uh, we're going to try and solve them with the use of your ruler and your protractor. Okay, so we have four forces here and you are asked to get the resultant force. Okay, so F1 is 360 newtons at 40 degrees north of east. F2 is 150 newtons at 20 degrees north of east. F3 is 100 newtons at 60 degrees south of east. And F4 is 120 newtons at 30 degrees west of south. So the first step is to choose an appropriate scale. Okay, the one that we chose last uh, yesterday was the scale 10 millimeters to 50 newtons okay the next step is to compute the equivalent scale in millimeters okay 360 newtons became 72 millimeters 150 newtons became 30 millimeters and F sub 3 became 20 millimeters and F and 120 newtons became 24 millimeters we still have the same direction so after we choose an appropriate scale and make the necessary computations the next step is to estimate the start and finish of the vectors. So on the side, okay, we can say that uh, for the first vector, it heads northeast. Second vector, northeast again. The third vector is south of east. And the fourth vector, west of south. So most likely, the resultant force will be like this. Now, after estimating the where your vector will finish, we move on to step three, which is to draw the vectors head to tail. Okay. <clears throat> so we choose an appropriate spot where to start. So let's choose this point. Okay. That is our starting point for F1. We draw an imaginary Cartesian plane. Which will serve as our guide in drawing the first vector. Okay. For the first vector, it's going to be 40 degrees north of east. So we put our protractor here. Remember that we should be putting the origin at this point of your protractor. Okay? 40 degrees is somewhere here. At this point. Right? And then we measure 72 millimeters using your ruler. 72 millimeters would be this line here. So at the tip of this figure, we draw an arrowhead, that is F1. To draw F2, we make another imaginary Cartesian plane here at the head of F1. which will again serve as our guide in doing F2. Okay, So for F2, uh, we need to measure 20 degrees. North of east is again on the first quadrant. So we put your protractor at the origin. Okay, This one should be aligned here. 
then we measure 20 degrees. 20 degrees would be 20 degrees would be somewhere here. Right. And then we measure one uh, we measure 30 millimeters in that direction. And put the arrowhead. This is our F2. Now to draw figure 3, we will need our imaginary Cartesian plane again. We draw this at the head of F2. Okay, now for F3, this will appear okay, on the fourth quadrant south of east. It says here south of east. Okay, so the angle that we need to get is 60 degrees. So we put our protractor like this. Make sure that this is where you have your origin at this point in your protractor. Okay, so this is 60 degrees. And then we measure 20 millimeters in that direction. We now move on to our last vector, F4. It says here 24 millimeters at 30 degrees south of west. So we draw an imaginary Cartesian plane again at the head of F3. This will serve as our guide. West of south happens to be in this quadrant, the fourth quadrant, with respect to this imaginary Cartesian plane. Okay. This will serve as our guide for the fourth vector. The fourth vector measures 24 millimeters. Let's move this paper higher. So 24 millimeters will be much okay this is how long 24 millimeters will be and now we move on to step four which is connect the head of the last vector to the tail of the first vector and this will be our resultant force let's use this violet colored pen Okay, and get the measurement it's around 80 millimeters we scale it back 10 millimeters this is the last step scaling back and this will give you approximately 400 newtons and that is our resultant okay. to get the angle theta we put the protector on the very first vector the starting point of the ve very first vector and then we measure we get the measurement of this angle here it's around 10 degrees north of east. Hello.